In a recent video, I listed the three bikes I would buy if I was in a financial position to own more than one motorcycle. I'd categorise these three bikes as a daily driver, a two-up tourer, and a fun bike. The fun bike being something more focused, like a sport bike or full-on cruiser, something less practical. Now in that video, I'd actually narrowed down the two-up tourer category to two bikes. And those two bikes, the Honda Goldwing and Harley Triglide Ultra, are the purpose of this video today. I'm going to try and pick a winner, make a decision on which I would actually buy if funds allowed. I'll look at the notable features of each bike and explain which and which are not important to me, or rather, where each bike shines and where I have concerns, the pros and cons. So, what am I looking for in a two-up tourer? Number one is two-up comfort. I need a bike that's going to be comfortable enough for two of us to spend long hours in the saddle. Number two is storage. We need some space for luggage. We don't need a lot, enough for a couple of days away, and we also need space to store two full-face helmets when stopping at waypoints. Number three, the bike has to be fun to ride. What I mean by that is the bike has to be more engaging or offer something a little more special than my daily driver. I really want to enjoy my time away aboard this tourer. It needs to be comfortable, fun and a relaxing bike to ride. Number four, it has to have essentials like cruise control, GPS and a reverse gear. I don't want to feel like I'm wrestling a 800 pound gorilla when trying to manoeuvre in a parking lot. Number five, I need to find the bike visually appealing. Put simply, I've got to enjoy looking at the thing. You know, when you get off your bike and look back and think, damn, that's a good looking bike. And lastly, we'll look at any potential concerns I have, and if they can be overcome with mods or aftermarket accessories. Now, two wheels or three. On the surface, the clear preference would naturally be two wheels. Why on earth would I even consider three? Well, I'm considering three for reasons previously mentioned. Comfort, enjoyment and relaxation. Knowing there's no chance of dropping a bike fully loaded with passenger and luggage is a huge plus for me. Pull up at the lights, wife wriggling around, no problem. Pulling into and manoeuvring the bike on bumpy, uneven gravel at our place of accommodation, no problem. When I'm away touring, I just want to relax and enjoy. This is where three wheels has a big advantage. Most of the time I'm riding my daily driver, a Honda NC750X, and that bike keeps me more than satisfied when it comes to leaning into corners. Just quickly, Spider versus Triglide. For some reason, spiders don't do it for me. At the end of the day, I still want to feel like I'm riding a motorcycle. Now I know that trikes ride completely differently to bikes, I get that. But seeing two wheels out front takes away from the experience of riding a motorcycle for me. I've had a sit on a spider at the dealership, and it feels like I'm straddled aboard a snowboard or jet ski. And even sitting in the showroom, I don't find the riding position that comfortable. For those two reasons alone, I've never taken up the offer of a test ride. Now having said all that, the Spyder would alleviate a big concern for me, and that is stability. We've all seen what happens when you have to quickly turn and apply the brakes on a trike. One of the big reasons recreational trikes were banned. They're just not traditionally stable in that situation, and that worries me. Having two wheels up front, I know that would not be a concern on the Spider. But maybe Harley's RDRS system keeps this issue much more under control on the Triglide. If you own a Triglide or freewheeler and would like to share your own experiences on stability and handling, I'd greatly appreciate your feedback in the comments below. Okay, what do I like about the Goldwing and Triglide? What are the standout features for each model? For the Goldwing, firstly, I'd have to go with the 2021 version, with its accompanying updates like the larger trunk to better accommodate two full-face helmets. Other pluses for the Goldwing are its appearance, I really like the look of it, radial mounted brake calipers, electronically adjustable suspension, low centre of gravity, option of a DCT automatic gearbox, good weather protection, electrically adjustable windscreen, GPS, ride quality versus trike. I, I'm expecting the Goldwing to ride much nicer than the trike. I've seen videos where trike owners have fitted aftermarket suspension. Powerful flat six engine producing 170 newton meters of torque at 4,500 RPM 
and 93 kilowatts of power at 5,500 RPM. Double wall exhaust for reduced rider heat, that's a big one. Fuel efficiency, reverse and walking mode for low speed manoeuvring, cruise control, rider airbag option, hill start assist, LED lighting, smart key fob, tyre pressure monitoring, heated grips, heated seats, passenger comfort, 21.1 litre tank, fuel economy of 5.5 litres per 100 kilometres, I'm calculating the range at about 383 kilometres based on those figures, Android Auto, and it comes with two wheels allowing me to lean the bike into the corners. Now two wheels also falls into the downsides category if I'm looking for a bike that's stress-free to ride. I've also put weight into the downsides category. The bike weighs 385 kilograms. Now, that's not a problem to me. The Vulcan Vaquero that I previously owned was also 385 kilograms. Now, that weight only becomes an issue when I'm fully loaded with two passengers and luggage, and uh, I need to balance the motorcycle in tricky situations. Now, let's go over the Tri-Glides pluses. First up is looks. I actually prefer the look of the Tri-Glide to the Goldwing for some reason. Next is three wheels, that's a bonus in this situation, luggage storage and room for two full face helmets, the Harley 114 engine and the Harley engine sound is a big bonus, Brembo brakes, GPS, infotainment system, I think the new infotainment system comes with Android Auto but I'm not sure, Batwing fairing, RDRS reflex defence rider system, 22.7 litre tank, fun to ride and something a little bit different. The engine produces 159 newton metres of torque at 3000 rpm, so it's producing less torque than the Goldwing but at lower rpm. It has a fuel economy of 5.6 litres per 100 kilometres or 42 miles per gallon, and I'm calculating the range at about 400 kilometres, which is a little more than the Goldwing, and the bike comes with fog lights as standard. Now, the downsides for the Tri Glide Ultra are it's manual only, only some of the lighting is LED non-adjustable windscreen. Now I've, I've listed the weight of 564 kilograms as a downside, which is not an issue for a three-wheel motorcycle, but it is an issue with the power to weight ratio. And the last downside is the twin-cooled engine. Now the twin-cooled engine is, is a great idea for keeping the engine cool, but I've seen quite a few reports on YouTube where owners have complained about engine heat on their legs even to the point where I saw one YouTuber strapping some heat shielding to his shin to protect his leg. So that's, that's a real issue for me. Actually, on the heat issue, a better option may be an accessorized freewheeler. The freewheeler doesn't have the heat-causing radiators of the Tri-Glide, allowing good airflow to your legs and feet, and it's also $10,000 Australian cheaper than the Tri-Glide Ultra. I would have to buy a more comfortable seat, backrests, and detachable windscreen but it may be a better option long term. Let's look at some pricing. The freewheeler in Australia sells for $46,495 Australian dollars. The Tri-Glide Ultra is $56,495 Australian dollars. The Goldwing Tour I'm estimating at $56,495 Australian dollars. And the standard Goldwing starts at $41,077 Australian dollars. But I'm predicting that doesn't come with DCT. Now let's check the ergonomics for someone of my size. This is how my 6 foot 1 inch frame fits on the Goldwing. And here's how I fit on the Triglide. And let's throw in the freewheeler for good measure. So after all this, where am I at? Which would I buy? Well, they both tick many of my boxes, like GPS, cruise control, storage, etc. But I prefer the adjustable screen, adjustable suspension, lack of leg heat, that's a big one, on the Goldwing. But I prefer the looks, sound and novel riding experience of the Tri-Glide trike, although the leg heat issue is a definite turn off. But I have to make a decision. So for me, the ability to be able to completely relax and enjoy my touring without ever having to worry about dropping the bike is the clincher. And for that very reason, I'm going to say a trike. If I could easily sort the leg heat issue, it would be a Tri-Glide Ultra. Otherwise, I'd go for an accessorized freewheeler. Well, that's it. This was a longer video than I was expecting to make, but there was so much I wanted to cover. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching, 
and hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.